certain like anatomy that werewolves have and uh, yeah now I know everything and oh boy uh, do I need to know this <laughs> I'm not sure <laughs> I'm not sure hey guys good morning how are you all doing today it is 5 30 couple of minutes after 5 30 and uh, it is time to wake up and get out of bed because today we are doing a 24 hour read a mm -hmm. mm -hmm. as soon as I can get out of bed feeling so much better I don't know why because this is decaf I don't drink caffeine so I don't know it must be a placebo effect or something but anyways this video is not about my coffee or about my gorgeous mug that I got from my mom no 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 this video is about the books that we are going to read in this 24 hour readathon now, I know that there are so many versions of this readathon out there up on the internet, but the one that I want to do, the one that I will attempt to do, is the version when you basically read as many books as you can in a day. At some point, I'm sure that I will pass out. There's no question about that, but fingers crossed that I will be able to finish some of the books that I selected for this readathon. The first one being one of my most anticipated releases for 2024, Bride by Ellie Hazelwood. Her first fantasy romance or paranormal romance, I'm actually not sure, <laughs> we'll see. This is about a marriage, a marriage of convenience between a vampire and a werewolf. And they are rivals or enemies. I'm not sure and I don't know why they have to marry, but they have to marry and I'm guessing that this will be like a haters to lovers romance. This is a standalone and this is only 400 pages. I also have the audiobook for this book that I checked out from my library so hoping that that will help me out when i get a little bit tired but i am so 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 excited about this book and then the other book that i want to read today is the fury by alex michaelides this is his third book if i'm not mistaken i really loved the silent patient from him that book blew my mind i loved it that was one of the first thrillers that I read in English and I loved it. I think that was such a fantastic book. I also read The Maidens from him. With all honesty, that was kind of like partial cover by because I think that that book cover is just gorgeous. I didn't like that book that much, but still I very much enjoyed. And I am curious about this third book. It is very short. I do not have the physical copy because I want the UK cover and I ordered it from the UK and I just don't have it yet. It's going to take like two, three weeks to ship it here. So again, I checked out the audiobook from my library. It is only eight hours long on one speed. So I guess that it's not a very long book. I hope that I can also manage this in this reading. 
vlog and then the third book that is also a new release so again we are just ending up with a new release is 24 hour readathon is the ladies rewrite the rules by suzanne ellen i know that she is a famous author she wrote mrs malcolm's list i believe and apparently it's also a tv show or a movie i'm not sure i never read the book i never read anything from her actually and i never watched the movie either but this book sounds so good first i was the cover that got me because it's purple and i love everything purple but anyways and this is also a very 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 short book and this book is about a list it seems like suzanne really likes lists but in this book a gentleman a younger son i don't know what that means actually just yet but he creates a list of super wealthy widows for different gentlemen to date these women and possibly to trick these women into marriage because they want their money right and then the ladies realize this and they are like we will rewrite the rules so this is something that sounds so cool and i am really into especially lately these regency era style feminist romance books so i am also really looking forward to read this one and i'm also going to use this readathon to finish a book or a graphic novel that i already started i'm kind of like read 25 percent of this book this is lore olympus volume one i am so freaking obsessed with this graphic novel series this is a contemporary style retelling of the love story of hades and persephone <laughs> and i am loving it this graphic novel is so fun i'm having the time of my life reading this book and i already started and read like about 25 percent of this book and i cannot wait to finish this because i adore 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 this graphic novel series and now with the books gathered i think that it is time to introduce myself so hey hi hello <laughs> how are you my name is Juji. i am the petite reader and i make weekly bookish videos if this is something that sounds good to you and you like any of my other videos then i think that you should definitely subscribe to my channel you are welcome here the first book that we will be reading is definitely bride by ellie hazelwood as soon as the sun is up because we are very very close to sunrise i am going to dress up and hit the gym and I am taking the audiobook of Bride with me because today I'm doing almost everything. I'm doing upper body, I'm doing lower body, I'm doing cardio, I'm doing stretching. So, <laughs> you know, I need something to keep me entertained. So this is what we are starting with. And as soon as I am back from the gym, I am going to share my initial thoughts with you guys. So see you soon. Okay guys, I got home from the gym, took a shower and I am ready to give you my first update about Bride because I had a very long session in the gym and I listened to um, up to chapter 4 Four, I was about to start chapter 5 before I stopped the audiobook and I just want to find out how many pages is that um, okay 75 pages so it's like you know a really nice chunk of the book and I am ready to give you my initial thoughts about this book the book starts with the wedding that basically the synopsis discusses so we have misery who is a vampire and she lives in the human world but she is the daughter of the vampire councilman because in this world there are humans there are vampires and there are werewolves or bears and they have their own territories right but misery is living in the human world because she has a really good human friend now 
Misery is about to enter into a marriage of convenience as a pledge of alliance between the werewolves and the vampires because a couple of years ago there was this huge 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 war between the two species and so many vampires and so many werewolves died and they just don't want that to happen again so they are made this marriage alliance but misery has her own reasons why she is entering this marriage so far this book uh, doesn't really feel like a fantasy to me or at least not like a high fantasy because i i didn't know <laughs> Now I know that this takes place basically in the modern world. So far it's giving me very much like that twilight feeling. But because it takes place in the modern world there is no world building yet. But we are still kind of, you know, early on in the book. So we'll see how, how that changes because so far we don't really know much about the species and about the different alliances that they have and what is exactly their problem with each other so far that's not clear but there is no world building in this book i mean it's not necessary but so far i'm just a little bit lost <laughs> when it comes to the world and also when it comes to the characters i just don't understand them and i don't understand their motivations and even misery's motivation i feel like that that stands on a shaky ground so i'm just a little bit confused so far i cannot say that i am into this book uh, but i don't know why whether it's because of the story or the characters or because I listened to the audiobook because oh guys the audiobook is not good it's not good we have um, female and male narrators and unfortunately I don't really like the voice of the narrators and also the narration style the male narrator or the man or how he narrates the 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 werewolf his name is low i don't know i just don't really like it so i feel like that i'm not into the book right now but i hope that it changes because i have a very open mind when it comes to this book what i find so interesting and I kind of thought that she was going to do this because she is a scientist right that she is incorporating science into the book like we're already um, starting to like you know discuss the genetic composition of vampires and how they ended up as vampires and <laughs> <laughs> I like that and our female character is a nerd she is an IT person so I actually like that <laughs> we have a vampire female protagonist who is a nerd <laughs> I, I, I really like that also such a small little detail and I don't know why this stayed with me but the male character haircut is a bus cut. Juji doesn't like that. <laughs> Juji doesn't like that in real life. Juji doesn't like that in fictional worlds. So I am really, really not into that. But other than his bus cut, honestly, he is the typical Ellie Hazelwood uh, male character. It doesn't matter if we are in a fantasy world or is it like a paranormal fantasy or like a real life romance for Ellie Hazelwood every single man has to be tall like I don't know seven foot tall and um, muscular and very alpha and very possessive and very handsome and just like you know perfect in every way so <laughs> we are getting that also in this book I am going to take a little bit of break from this book because I want to read the thriller I am in that kind of mood right now so I'm going to pick up the fury and then I will also continue with this book but not the audio version because no that is not working for me 
and once I made some progress with the books I will pop back in for my next update so see you guys soon Okay guys, let me just give you a very quick update because oh, there are so many things going on. It's insane. But before I do that, I want to show you my orchid. Oh, careful. Careful, careful, careful. Oh, it's actually surprisingly sturdy, but still I don't want to drop it because I'm sure that the moment I drop this, the pieces will be scattered all over the place. But look at it. Isn't it just gorgeous? And look at those details. I mean, wow, 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 wow. It is beautiful. It was really not hard to make this little masterpiece so i am so happy with it this is something that i'm going to put in the bathroom because unfortunately not many plants survive in my bathroom i'm pretty good with plants i am a plant mom but when it comes to my bathroom i am really struggling so this one is going there and i am so happy with it ah, i love it love it love it Okay, I have two updates. One, The Fury by Alex Michaelides. I've read, listened to a good chunk of this audiobook. I got up to Act 2, Chapter 2. This book is divided into five acts and I think I'm at around 30% in the audiobook and... Uh, Unfortunately, I've made the decision not to continue this book because I am insanely bored. Bored, 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 bored. This book is about a murder. It is basically a murder mystery. I think it is misadvertised. It is definitely not a thriller. And honestly, even saying that it is a murder mystery, I feel that that's very generous. I kind of feel that it is just a drama and it makes sense that the book is divided into acts, right? And then chapters within the acts. This book is about a group of friends and there is this incredibly famous now retired movie star Lana who is like you know super rich and she invites her friends to spend Easter with her on her private Greek island so it's just her a group of friends and her son and then a murder happens and there's only seven of them so obviously one of them is the murderer and honestly to me this book feels like Glass Onion 2.0 and I did not like that movie. I loved Knives Out but I didn't really like Glass Onion and I am not liking this book either so maybe it's the whole concept that is not working for me. I don't know. I must say that it is written in a very interesting writing style because basically the narrator of the book and the reader they are having a very casual conversation about what happened on the island. Now, I find this book so far incredibly boring and I just cannot get into it. The audio 
is not good. I don't know, this is something that seems to be a pattern in this video. Like, thanks God that I didn't pay for the audiobook. I, I am not enjoying at all. I don't like the voice of the narrator. And again, I just don't like the narration style. So, unfortunately, it doesn't work for me. But I am not DNFing this book because of the audio. No, I am DNFing it because it's very slow and I expected a thriller and I didn't get one. One thing that kept me going thus far because it's a very short book so I feel like um, getting up to 30% is a really good chunk. I enjoy the commentary on childhood trauma and how adults who went through trauma in their childhood, how they behave, how they behave with other people, how they analyze other people, and also how they look at themselves and their relationships with other people. It is so spot on. It is, it is, it is so well written. I immensely enjoyed that part, but unfortunately it's not enough for me to continue this book. I feel like that it is a hard DNF and I don't think that I will ever pick this book back up. I need to look at the UK website because I ordered this book from the UK, right? If I can cancel my order, I think so because they haven't shipped the book yet. So fingers crossed that I can actually get my money back uh, because I don't think that I will pick up this book anytime soon or maybe ever again. Okay, the next update that I have is about Bride. Oh guys, <laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm here for this shit. <laughs> I'm loving it. I've read 340 pages and I am about to start chapter 28 and we have very little left of this book and obviously when I finish the book I'm gonna come back and I give you all my final thoughts and my review and everything but I just wanted to pull back in and say that <laughs> wow 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 it was a 180 turn because this book you know, we, like, we started out rocky, but <laughs> I am loving it. It's not perfect, and there are certain things in this book that, um, look, I gotta say it, uh, that make me feel a little bit uncomfortable. There are certain smart scenes when I'm like, I, <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. And I must say that, um, well, uh, I, 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 I didn't know about like, certain bedroom habits that werewolves have and, and, and certain like anatomy that werewolves have and uh, yeah now I know everything and oh boy <laughs> do I need to know this? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. But I am thoroughly enjoying this book. Wow. Like, considering that this is her first fantasy, okay, she didn't have to do world building, but still. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And now that the fury is out of the picture and I'm finishing this book soon, I am going to start the ladies rewrite the rules. This is very short. So I think I should be able to finish this in a couple of hours. And the font size is huge. So yeah, I don't think that I'm going to have any issues finishing basically most of the books that I selected for this readathon. But I'm gonna go back to reading. And once I have <laughs> coherent thoughts <laughs> about this book, <laughs> I will pop back in and review this one and maybe even give you my initial thoughts about this one. So, I'll see you guys soon. I'm back. <laughs> I just wanted to quickly update you guys before the sun sets. So, first, let's talk about Bride. I like this book. <laughs> I like this book. I ate this book up. 
<laughs> very well done Ellie Hazelwood and I cannot believe that I say this because well, we all know, because I've talked about this before, that Twilight is not exactly my favorite. Uh, like, I hate it. Um no, I, I really don't like that movie and that vampire story. I never read the book, so, you know, I don't like that. And this one, to me, had Twilight feels. And also, like, I didn't really like this book in the beginning. We didn't click. But, oh well, <laughs> here we are. Now look, is Ellie Hazelwood the best author of all times? No, but I don't like to criticize her writing because I know that English is her second language and considering that her and her publishing team, I think that they do an excellent, excellent, excellent job with the books that she's publishing. Also, does she write the same characters regardless of gender? same characters every single time um yeah <laughs> yeah she changes certain things she changes the workplace she changes the hairstyle and maybe the height <laughs> a little bit but kind of like all her characters are the same like the male character i mean like we don't we don't need to discuss that because we already discussed that like every single ellie hazel male character is exactly the same and in this book the guy i think was even bigger and even taller but surprisingly in this book the female main character was not short she was not petite she was actually tall so I, I think that that's the only change I observed when it comes to her character work the romance itself was also very much Ellie Hazelwood style like you know the guy is into the girl like immediately as the book starts he fall in love on the spot and the girl of course she's completely oblivious she has no clue, she doesn't know about it, and then she doesn't figure it out until the middle of the book or until the end of the book, so it was like kind of the same, just in a fantasy world. Also, the plot was interesting, and Ali Hazelwood kept me intrigued in this book when it comes to the story itself. Um, certain things I saw coming, so not everything was a surprise, but it didn't bother me at all. Now this book is not perfect and there were little things that I didn't really like um, in this book but the big thing I didn't like in this book is definitely the smut. I am not against smut, I don't have a problem reading smut but the bedtime bedtime? bedroom <laughs> scenes they made me a little bit uncomfortable. When I reviewed From Blood and Ash a couple of months ago on my channel, I said the same thing because that one also is like a vampire and wolf story, whatever, that uh, there, there are certain things that make me feel um, uncomfortable and like for example feeding from one another. Like I don't have a problem with, with blood but um, I don't like it combined with um with sexy time and also just certain things in this book when it comes to specifically the smut that i was not feeling and it just brought back certain blood and ash memories so it didn't really work for me but this book is very spicy and very explicit i mean i don't think that we would expect anything else from ellie hazelwood and also the male character in this book is um a super possessive alpha uh, character and sometimes he does certain things like uh, i think like he told her multiple times that she's like a good girl or something like that if i remember correctly like certain things I, I i don't like and it makes me feel uncomfortable but i will not let that ruin my overall enjoyment over this book so honestly i highly highly recommend i think that this one was very nicely done and that end scene, guys. Do you think that we get a sequel following a certain other set of characters? Hmm. 
Let me know what you think in the comments down below. All right, that one was bright, luckily a success. And now let's discuss the ladies rewrite the rules. I am very early um, in this book. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, chapter uh, 5. I am about to start chapter 5. So it's like page 54. I still have like a good like 200, a little bit more than 200 pages to go in this book. But again, I just want to give you my initial thoughts. So Diana Boyle, who is our main protagonist in this book, she is a very young widow who lives kind of like a solitary life she lives tucked away from London and she's happy with that and then suddenly gentlemen start showing up and invading her private life and she doesn't like that and most importantly she doesn't understand what's happening and then she discovers with the help of her butler that her name is listed in the rich ladies registry i think that that's <laughs> what it is called so she travels to london and find the author and has a conversation with that man like you know what were you thinking putting my name in that registry without my permission and then the guy Guy who made this list Maxwell he explains it to her that he had no malicious intentions he's just trying to help out these younger sons or younger gentlemen who doesn't necessarily have the financial situation to find suitable wives so apparently no bad intentions involved but then Diana decides to write letters to every single woman on this registry and then the ladies have a meeting they come together and they decide to turn the etiquette upside down i don't know exactly what is going to happen because again i'm very early in the book and we are just like you know just gathering and deciding what to do so far i am enjoying it this is my first book from the author so i didn't know what to expect when it comes to her writing style and this book is super 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 short so i don't think that we will have very deep feminist discussions i don't know i don't know once i finished this book i will definitely pop back in and share my thoughts with you guys and also i am going to start reading or i should say finishing lore olivas and i know i know that i am going to love this graphic novel it is not a question it is not a question so soon i will pop back in with probably my final reviews in this reading vlog so see you guys soon well guys welcome welcome to the last segment to the last update of this 24-hour readathon it is now very late but i finished both of these books and i wanted to give you my final thoughts um i am about to pass out i am so incredibly tired <laughs> i had a long day um i woke up early but it shouldn't be a problem because usually i wake up at 5 50 or 6 a.m so you know waking up at 5 30 it was not really a problem but i had a long day at the gym and then also i try to stay a little bit active you know while reading the books and also reading like reading slash listening to four books <laughs> honestly <laughs> it is hard it was hard even if you love reading even if it is your biggest hobby <laughs> i really pushed myself today but i don't mind because you know when we conquer these little challenges in our lives then you just get that ugh, i'm a winner feeling at the end and that is definitely how i am feeling but i am ready for my shower and i am ready for bed but back to these two books i promise i will try to review them as coherently as i can okay the first one the ladies rewrite the rules honestly guys i really like this book it was just a fun 
and a very delightful little novel. This book is a mix of a lot of good things. We have a very cutesy romance in this book. We have characters that are so lovable, that are so easy to connect with, and we have characters from all backgrounds, all situations, all ages, and I absolutely love that. But what I love the most about this book is the female friendships. The romance in the book was very cute and very swoon-worthy, but it was not the center of the book and I liked it because the center of the book was the friendships that these women again from all different ages and backgrounds were able to form in an era where women's choices were definitely very limited and despite that they didn't see themselves as competitors you know competitors for the man to get the best match and to get the best marriage deals no they actually became genuine friends who helped each other throughout the story while i don't think that this book will ever make it to my favorite list honestly it was a very fun very short and a very light read that relaxed me and i had fun with it so i would recommend it and i think that i will read other books from the author and then <laughs> lore olympus guys <laughs> i adore this book I adore the whole series. This book is so much fun. Reading this graphic novel cracks me up. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> reading this graphic novel, as I was saying, it cracks me up almost on every single page. I really like the colors that the artist use. I really like the facial expressions, the story itself. Despite this whole graphic novel series being very lighthearted, it is also very serious, especially when it comes to Persephone's character. But now we are also getting to see a little bit more of Hades and his trauma, his like childhood trauma and um, I very much enjoy it. I cannot wait to continue. If you read graphic novels, definitely pick this up. If you don't read graphic novels, definitely pick this up because this is my first graphic novel series and I absolutely love it. Well guys, this is it. This is the end of the video and this is the end of this 24 hour readathon. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you and I hope that you enjoyed spending some time with me. Hit share, like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. You are welcome here. I have so many fun projects coming up in the upcoming weeks so definitely keep an eye out for the new videos and in the meantime if you want to check out any of my other videos i will leave them on the screen probably here and here and i see you soon in an upcoming video bye